Monsters, the Dark Prince. Well, currently I am playing the demo because it hasn't released as of this recording. I will be playing the whole game. Any ordinary human? Gorin, help me get him inside! So, if he's no ordinary human, what's he supposed to be? He is none other than Randolfo the Tyrant's son. A prince amongst us monster folk. Randolfo's son? But he looks like any other human. They say Randolfo had a child with a human woman. But the boy's whereabouts were unknown. But what would he be doing here in Nadiria now? Well... Darling, have those bullies been picking on you again? But you're tougher than anyone, Your Highness. Why not show them who's boss next time? No, Glupert. Listen carefully. No matter what happens, you are not to lay a finger on a human. You are not like them. And that means you have to try twice as hard as anyone else to be human. If not harder. <laughs> All right, mate. You're the one what moved into that little art in the woods, ain't ya? You sneaky rotter. Hey, stop that! Oh, what do you want, Evan? I suppose you think you're some kind of hero wanting to protect this idiot. Neither of us is much of a hero. The, the shriveler. It got my dad. And after his strikes. He comes back for the whole family. He's going to get me and my sister. Hey, where are you going?
monster kind royalty doing in a piddling backwater like this? <sighs> Is that you? How come you're so strong? And what did it mean, monster kind royalty? <sighs> Darling, listen to me. You have to remember, each of us is burdened with our own destiny. My darling boy, please embrace your humanity. Your father rules over Nadiria, but that is not your concern. Just please. Whatever you do, stay away from him. I beg you. L Lady Miriam! Oh. Oh. Thankfully, she's just snoozing. Where are you going, Your Highness? Nadiria? Don't goo, Your Highness. Come back! Ah, I see you're awake. I know you've come a long way. But you'd best give up on your plan to see your father. Hmm? Oh, not interested in my warning, I see. Well, alone. Impressive. Though I wouldn't expect any less from one of your sons, Rantolfo, my lord. Tell me, boy of mine. Why do you return to the underworld, from which you are an outcast? against me? Very well. Allow me to show you exactly where you stand. You are now cursed, unable to harm creatures of monster blood. That should deter you from returning here. Now prepare to be sent to the end of time itself! Globo Oscuro!
Hmm. You again. So you are here, progeny of human and monster. I am the one who sees all. I am sorry to tell you that your mother passed a short while ago. Henceforth, you will do as she wished and live your life as a human. I shall remove the monster blood that courses through your veins for you. Why do you resist? Hmm. I see. So you would have your revenge by deposing him and taking his title as master of monster kind. For this, you will require the strength of a monster, no doubt. Very well. You are the master of your own destiny. But I'm excited. I will be playing in English. And uh, first, uh, I don't remember how fast it was when I played. Turn it down, turn that down. Uh, I think that's fine. Yeah. Display. That's fine. Text settings. Voice auto play on. Just for those who want to read. And or, hey, maybe you're, for some reason, watching this and you're deaf and you're reading captions. I question why you want to read the YouTube captions, but hey. Let's roll. And I am actually going to go with the canon name of the character. Saro. Yeah, it's not Pissaro. Even though I joke about, I joked about it with friends when we in all the games. I already selected this. Okay. Oh, it's not. I actually turned off all play, didn't I? Whoops. It's only me, Royston. You were mourning and groaning a fair bit. Bad dreams, I take it. Oh, Monty asked about you, by the way. Best go see him when you get the chance.
Yes, I know. And we can jump. Why don't we have a pause? I sure don't have a pause yet. Oh, well, let's go down here because we'll see. Oh, is it luck base? Oh no, we, we do. We need those. By the way. Yep. Where are we? Yeah. We'll do with that another time. Come on. <laughs> that reminds me. Oh, there you are, lad. Well, I'm sure you know why I'm so eager to see you. Eager to see you. Monty is actually a character that appears in Dragon Quest V. He actually teaches the. I think it's the child characters? It's been so long since I played Dragon Quest V. I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> yep, and we got a curse that stops us from harming monsters. Did they just get the the? Oh well. <laughs> so this is the village he's hiding in. So your blighters are back again, are ya? Well, I'm not stunned for it. Over. <laughs> you really think you stand a chance against us? <laughs> Who do we have here? Next time, you'll be coming with us. 
You're not hurt, are you, lad? Good. Good. I'm just glad I made it in time. I knew we'd be having unwelcome guests again. But I just didn't expect them quite so soon. Hmm? You're keen to know who these monsters are? Well, I'll tell you all about it later. First things first, we need to tend to the injured. And I've got just the monster for the job. This way. A monster master. yourself, my lad. You're going to have to become a monster wrangler. Do you know what one of them is? All oh, right. Well, anyway, I'm talking about the mighty gladiators who marshal their monstrous troops in battle. I just know you'll be a natural lad. After all, it's in your blood. Why don't I get this started with one of my little lot? I'll ask you a few questions. And I'm sure we'll be able to pair you up with the perfect monster. Would you say you prefer lovable monsters to more rugged types? Yeah. And do you like more compact monsters? No. Do you like weird and wonderful monsters? Uh, I think it's no mm. for the monster I want. Very interesting indeed. I reckon the perfect match for you is... Nope. I'm sure you'll get along famously. Are you happy with this mod? Nope. Then let's... <laughs> Actually, I might as well just show off all the ones. Would you say... And Depressing yes twice. Sure, you'll get along. F Are you happy with this month? No. Then let's. St I have a reason for saying no to this guy. Would you say? But I can't talk about that yet. I believe. Would you prefer a month? No, twice. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's sure you'll get a lazy pump. Are you happy with this monster? No, because that one is also one that I have a problem with. No. Would you? Do you like weird? I believe saying, because I believe saying no gets you cruel cumber again, mm. or maybe saying yes. Yeah, sure we want Are you modern mannequin for a specific reason, well, and not even for the monster. Uh, because I don't like giving nicknames to monsters unless I want them to specifically join the team. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they've taken a shine to you. Now it's time you learned the ABCs of monster wrangling. Let's head out of the village and get ready to rumble. Yeah, we're going to be stuck in what they call tutorial hell. Which is a shame, because I... I know what to do. Ooh. 
we'll be stuck here for a while. Now then, let's turn you into a monster wrangler. We'll start with the basics. A monster wrangler's job is to train up their monsters to be good and strong. Lights, camera. Hey, did you, did you say something like? Nope. That was not us. That's odd. Could have sworn I heard someone. Action! I'm here to make you a star. Oh. I've got a nose for talent, and I could smell you a mile off. You're a natural, kiddo. I can see it now. Workshop your skills with me, and you'll have your name up in lights in no time. I see you're still as daft as a brush, Fizzy. Monty! It's been a while, but it's never too late. I'm all ears if you ever want to make a comeback. Right. Fizzy here may be a rubber, but she's a first-rate instructor of monster wranglers. I reckon I can leave you in her more than capable hands. Right. I'm gonna head back to the shop. Drop by once you've finished your training. See you, Monty. Cause... Right, babe. It's you and me now. Are you ready to shine? <laughs> Lesson one. The basics. Defeating monsters in battle. We'll go one step ahead. We'll recruit one. We need to recruit as many as we can. Do you see those? They're wild monsters. I see. Into one I and get the action started. This I know Fizzy. Your first audition. Big smile now. You're gonna be somebody. I'm going to be me. That's all it is. Okay. I can actually. Yes, I know. Tech settings. Good. Because I don't want to keep pressing A. Let's roll. Yep. And we can do tactics. And we can flee. But we're going to scout. Four percent. <laughs> slim. I know it's slime. I like to say them slim. Say, I like to say they're slims. You scouted a monster already? I tell you, kid, you're gonna go far. All right, one more time. With feeling. If you want a monster to join your squad. Or yeah. you can simply defeat them in battle. If they get back up once the fight is won, then they want to team up with you. Yeah, this is a if mechanic. If they they aren't willing to join you, try tossing them a beastie treat or two. Oh yeah, that's another mechanic. When you scout a new monster but haven't got space in your party, it'll be sent to your monster depot. The Monty can handle the details, so if... Yeah. Fizzy... I might be skipping a lot of her dialogue. Is there a finer season? Just but you know, the tap Now it's summer. Feel that sun. In summer the greenery gets a growth spurt. Yeah. We'll be trying that. Walk with me, would you, kid? Yeah, so, so, sadly, Fizzy in this area is gonna be tutorial. I'm not a fan. I've got a smoke sword line. So, we can. Uh, the mechanic for this game is that you can actually 
knock out monsters and potentially scale them. And if we have something like a smoke starter line, we can actually increase our chances of cat of scouting them. And uh, as you see, not very good at scouting. <laughs> I say as we scout another one. You want to scout as many monsters as you can. Pretty pebble. Vegan Dragora. We want to try and save the smoke star line. And they got angered. And I believe, yeah, we can't scout angered monsters. That doesn't mean we can't recruit them. And we'll be, we may be wondering, why am I choosing fight? Well, we don't have any moves, so there's no point trying to order. Plus, when we do get moves, it's actually better to let the AI actually fight with certain monsters. I'm gonna fully heal from that, so. Surprised. It's a matter of luck, but if you get 100%, you guarantee scout them. We've got less this time if we. Ah, we angered that enemy. Probably try and get at least four monsters before we get to the next section. Go back up. See if the Vigan Dragora have respond. Yep, has. Vegan Dragora. Yeah. If you're wondering what that, that S means, I'll talk about that later. Really? Now. Let's just irritate again. We get a third chance to scout. Yeah. That's getting lower each time. Oh, it's angered again. I was not this unlucky. Like the first time. I was going through these areas, I was scouting so easily. I'm usually not waiting this long, but at least we get some talent points. Uh, I'm not a fan of the name, but hey, how this works is that we actually could put 
points into a skill tree. And, weirdly enough, even though we've got these, I actually want to put it into Defense Booster. And with Slime, uh, we want to put it into Slimer because Auto Restora. This is busted. This early is really busted if we can get a hundred skill points, as I'm going to call them. Granted, you always... Granted, this is literally the slime tree in every Dragon Quest game. Dragon Quest monster game. Natural Tal... Yeah, this is also kind of busted, but it's a bit harder to get. You, you want to keep Nature Tile. And Cast Lasher is also really good. That's a. Because the second trait is random. But that's actually kind of busted to get both wards. Oh. oh, right. While we're fighting the slime, might as well talk about it. Uh, trying to get the same monster isn't as effective. So, don't try to. Granted, there are times you want to scout a lot of the same monster. Slimes are one of the monsters you want to eventually start scouting a lot of. But currently you don't. Let's see if I can actually see. Nope. I think I see a vegan dragon. A vegan dragora. Okay, I want to try and scout one, because I prefer to have four monsters before going to the next section. Come on. There we go. And we've got four monsters in the party. This is something that's actually taken from another Dragon Quest monster game. Dragon Quest Monster Joker 3, which uh, English speaking territories did get, which I'm still salty about. But hey. Well, the Bundacorn doesn't notice our presence. So we're going to just hope for a sca Oh my god, we crit! And 100%. One of us now. And we got I think we got all the monsters that we can actually scout so we can just fight some of these guys just to gain some experience. We'll soon get having Oh yeah, we'll also be needing to get heal for for as much as we can. Oh though Sizz is also really good. Oh this is oh restorer. That is Kind of busted. A lot of things have auto restore for some reason. Oh, though we want this. This is busted in these games. Mainly because they changed how it works. I'll talk about it when we get it. 
and we get another season change. Wouldn't you know it? Here we are in autumn already. You'll find heaps of leaves all over the place at this time. Yeah, here. this is a tutorial of What's Yeah, saying? this is the season mechanic. Yeah. Grant, you also want to make sure you're recruiting monsters at this point, because uh, if you aren't, you could potentially miss easy chances to get some of these guys. And the group of monsters appears. Uh, we'll get some monster munchies to the capsule. We can give three meats to a monster, I believe. Yeah, and we only get one monster to scout, and I'm going to try and scout as many here. Oh, there's Drakies. Drakies are, are really good, not for battle, but for something else. Oh, since there's only one, I'm just going to try my luck. 80%. That is really good. They're easy to scout. You're one of us now. And do herb. Group of monsters appeared. Could get. <laughs> this is sometimes what happens. The game gets in this weird phase where it just gives you monsters because you just gave them food. Some monsters though, they just will not do that for. Like this chicken! I believe it's... It's a bantamweight. Yeah, this guy is a powerful boy. And gets angered easily, apparently. I forgot that. But there's also something else about it. Why we're struggling to scout it. But it's also going to give us a lot of experience. At least for the moment. We actually want Sis. Willing helper. That will also be kind of good, but it's not as good. And we're mainly getting it because it's got oomph. But also... Ultra Spellbinder? Oh, it was just anti-magic. Two dancers, but we don't want them. Well, we don't want them to be dancers. Don't worry about over leveling because being real. Okay, so don't want to give the smoke star line yet because. Oh wait, does it tell us the rank? If it does, I have not no noticed. Irritated. Okay, I'm gonna check. Yeah! G rank. 
So, monsters have ranks, and I'll talk about it more yeah. later, but because we're not a certain rank, we can't actually scout these as easily as we could later. We're getting a lot of money. We're getting a lot of experience and a lot of money. I believe we're getting money for this. This would have hit everyone. The monsters are defeated. Draki gets Zam Vishinado, which honestly. Isn't that great? I think Attack Attack Attacker. Yeah, Attack Attacker is probably one of the best skills it gets. Because this sucks, sadly, because we don't have anything that gives these effects. Confusion Attack is too expensive. <laughs> and the rest is almost really the best thing it has. Heartbreaker is really good, though. So the day I does not like using Heartbreaker. Wait. Oh no, it was a rock. I was like, wait, was that a metal sign? You know what? Give it to the Bantam way. It's not gonna help, help much, and I want to save the smoked sirloin to certain other monster. Scouted, apparently. You're one of us now. And this is where we've got too many monsters, and we actually want you. Because of Helmsplur. Apparently, also. <laughs> Wait. That is actually a really good set of skills. Uh. Oh, uh, I want to keep these monsters with me. Draki's going to be the one that's going to be put away. And, yeah. We're actually placing Mud Mannequin. <coughs> oh, oh, sorry. Bless me. <coughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oh, I'm about to sneeze again. <coughs> oh, apologies. Oh, I do not like sneezing. We want to just continue leveling up our monsters as we go. It's a bit of a grind, but hey, it's not that bad. It'll get worse later. Oh. Oh great, that's actually perfect. The quicker we can actually defeat monsters, the better. At least for now. Talent points. And we get heal. 
we want to switch tactics for slime now because actually no we don't want to do that yet because we want to wait until we can actually uh, do something out in the wild we probably want to be more offensive Sadly, even though at least we've been leveling up fast, we're starting to hit the point where we slow down and it's it's something I'm not happy about in any of these games. And we get to see the winter. Oh, it's cold in winter. And the water's frozen solid. Wow, what a sight. The waterfall's turned into a block of ice. Yeah. When you're done exploring, let's slip under that arch. Yeah, and that's... When we get under that arch, that's effectively the end of winter. So... Gather all the monsters here. Yeah. Even though this guy's not that great. <laughs> I believe he's got a pretty bad skill. Yeah, because he's got aqua. Aquapothecary, which the only good thing about it is that it's got these healing moves, snooze, chilly breath, and that's it. And also all oh, Kadabra, but for a lot cheaper, but well, it's actually not for a lot cheaper, it's not. Uh, I'll put you in because Aqua Puff Carry might eventually become good for us to use. Now this is the hard monster to get, but still not the monster I'm wanting to use the Sirline on. Get to it soon. Surprised. Yeah. Come on, now. Aunt Guzzler. We're doing last now. How? How would they? You're one of us now. <sighs> okay, what does? What's power? Okay, it's just a weirder version. Okay, that's actually not that bad. That's still weird, but does have attack booster. Yeah, I'll send monster to the boat. Pretty pebble. And we want to get into the cave and then head to the arch. Yeah, I'm also before people ask, this will be a long episode. 
That was always the plan. And with this, we can gain an extra treasure. Mm. Three single fails. You probably won't see me going across the ice much because I'm not a fan. And winter's probably the one section I'm not a fan. At least in this area. In a later area, I'm more of a fan of her. But. And we'll be fighting the Bantam Wake. Get this because more mint snow, the better. And it's back to spring. And here we are in spring again. Wait. Have you seen the size of those flowers in the river? I bet you could climb aboard them, right? Anyway, that's about the size of it. As yeah, the seasons change. But let's not get ahead of ours. You pass the audition with flight. And she teaches us Zoom. This is very useful. Useful. I'll let you return to any place. Now that's a wrap. Yeah. Thankfully, that's the end of the tutorial. Yeah, we'll be needing to take the zoom, but not yet. We want to go down this path. Partly because new monsters. Partly because of something else. Uh, this path. That's a vegan dragora. There's a chest. Wanna open all chests? We can. Oh, and before people think, no, we're not going for all chests, so. A ferroball. Yeah, we can speed it up, which I will probably do just to speed up scouting now. <laughs> and then probably have Auro Battle deal with it. Also, you may have noticed there was a bigger than normal slime there. Uh, I don't think it affects anything, sadly. Someone can correct me when we get more information. I do know there are special monsters that we can rarely get, but I don't believe the size of the monster changes anything, though bigger monsters are kind of cool to see.
No. There we go. There's the monster we want to see. It's not the one I want to scout with the... Sirloin. Really? The killer pillar is something we want to scout. I were... Oh my god. Now. What scout before... Oh my god. We never had this problem. Well, I never had this problem. We were just scouting randomly. Now we get to see Sis work. And we've got some manky meat. Slime Squisher. Well, I believe there's something up here anyway, so as well as another killer pillar. There is a chest. What was chest? Yeah. There you go. Got the killer pillar. You're one of us now. We're not wanting you for your for the team. It's not powerful. Nor is high mind that great. But we do want you. Well, I'm just wrong. As you're seeing on the top right, we are going through the season slowly. That's why I recommend recruiting as many monsters, any new monsters, you see. There is one monster that is an exception, and I don't know if we'll go and see it yet. It's a monster that is a Cyclops, known as the Gigantus, I think. Uh, we don't want to fight him. We will lose, because we cannot scout him. Ah! Uh, there he is! Don't fight him! Don't! Doubly so in the demo. Do not. No. There is no point. Other than bragging rights. I believe once the full game comes out, being him recruits him or, has, or allows you to be able to scout him. No. I keep thinking you're the Joker 2 one, which has. I think it's Joker 2, but has a really good skill list. But then again, I'm also thinking that this game has Joker 2 naturalist, which was kind of busted, if I'm remembering. Climb. Just slowly climb. If we can, it's best to avoid. Oh! Start to rain! Oh! I wasn't 
expecting to get rain yet. Rain's a special weather and it does change a lot of the seasons. As well as the monsters. I don't believe where we're going it changes any of them. Because this is where we want to be. Because we want to get not a Komodo. Though I do also want a Komodo because Komodos can become a lot of good things. And because of that, uh, let's send some monster munchies. Because this thing's actually can be actually pretty powerful as well. But we can use it for more powerful stuff. You're one of us now. Komodo. But his skill's not great. <laughs> Dazzle Blocker might actually be kind of good though, so I might actually want you to join. Anyways, I'm going to be bringing him along. It's not... Oh, does it not appear in the rain? Oh, that might not be a good... Uh, let's try and recruit the wing slime. The wing slime. Oh, we angered it right away. Jeez. Wing slimes are defeated. Dazzle Flash is really good. Undead Undoer will be very useful. Where is it? There's usually a monster that can sometimes pop up and tries to ambush you. And I don't remember which version of the monster it is, because it's a dragon monster. Really. Come on, Scout. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're not going to be using you, but we do need as many monsters as we can. Okay, I'm going to see... No! Oh. Can it not happen when it's raining? Or am I... Or is it... Because I've never been here in spring. So, it might be that the cat appear in spring? I hope that's not the case. The surprise is not turning summer yet. There we go. Uh, there we go. This is the guy I want to recruit. This guy's actually pretty hard. I am um, Smoke Sirloin. Oh, is it a G rank? Oh, I think I know one mixing this guy up. Because in Dragon Quest Monster Joker 2, this guy's a pain to crew. Here he's not as bad. Or apparently is. Though he has a really good skill. Sadly I won't be getting him. Yep. But next time I'll probably be scouting this guy and checking checking what's over there in winter and then showing you guys why we need our monsters big and strong.
See you guys then. Zeno and Zimmer, signing out.